welcome back to Predatory Fins. Right now, we're selecting a few fish from this store right here to bring back to our facility. We're actually paying a little bit more than we should because they're charging us since we're not from here. Right, Vijay? Yeah. They're charging that's, us a little more. That, that's the problem when you're a tourist, right? We have a marker on our back. Yes, yeah, it's and, a big old target. You know, if I was here by myself, we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> but it's, it's this guy that's causing the problem. But we did see some stuff that, you know, we can't pass on, so well, we're gonna get it. I don't know if they know, but this is not an iridescent shark. Yeah, no, she knew when I asked Oh, she knew? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna take this guy, and I wanna select one of these tigrina. I think that big one, right there, I already found it. Right the one there. in the back? Yes. That one. Yes, yeah. you guys can't see it, but... The I, pattern is really nice. I had my eyes on it. You want to select one for you or no? No, we'll I get... think one's enough. I think when we go to China, we're going to see a whole boatload of these. Three. You select one here, I'm going to select 10 in China. I'm going to select more in China too. There's a couple more fish we wanted, but the price is very high. So yeah. it didn't make sense for it to get it. We just want to show you guys the process of picking up a fish here, bring it back to our facility, and ship it to New York. So a facility in Thailand and ship it back to New York. Look at that. Water bottle has many uses. It's holding up the, the, the lid. Hold one hold it up for her. The, the thing so she can get water. Come on. All right, show her which one. Uh, this one. It's literally the biggest one in there. All right, so they caught this guy already. Markings are yeah, that's the one. Okay. Yep. So we caught one. So we have a fly horn, a big tigrinus, and that white fish. I don't even know what that white fish is. Well, we'll just grow it. That one we can keep for the exhibit. And we can keep this one for the exhibit because we had one growing out, but we had We to sold it, it here. Right? <laughs> so now we had to spend good money to buy another one, which doesn't make sense, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to make the customer happy. Well, this is more a video for them as well. <laughs> you saw him upside down. Yeah. Yeah. I sh are you sure is that's the right one? I think so. As long as it's got unique markings, I think the size I'm not so concerned about. It'll grow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. What about the the white carps? The Indian carps. Oh, they can get it. Okay, they can get it. All right. So we're only gonna take two fish from here mainly because of the price. I would love to take these right here, but they're ten thousand dollars a piece. So we're not gonna have uh, this type of money this time. Well, we'll have uh, our partner here go hunting for them and he'll find it. Eventually yeah. he'll find it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we're in a retail store here basically. So but didn't I you mean, want really expect... didn't you want some of the like the high fin ones okay. for body? Okay. These... For yourself. It looks like somebody already bought some. But like look at that one. Look how high that fin is. No no no. This this one. There was one super high one. This one right here, right? Yeah, that one is super high. And the short body. And then that one's it caught my attention too. But I think we can get these in China. Yeah? Alright. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to ask. It's crazy, because you're spending the day here, you just want to keep buying, 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 buying. You always find something more interesting than another. Uh, like these these uh, giant carps, they're giant engine carps. But we, he said we can get them from our own supplier, well, actually from our partner. And then these guys, I was very interested in trying to to get them because these are allowed in the U.S. The black ear panguses, and they're white, but their price here is 500 a piece, and it might change color. I mean, I don't know. So. I mean, they're on a dark tank. They look pretty white, but we just don't know what these fish. You know, at least if we get it from our partner, they'll hold them for a while to make sure that they're not gonna change. And then these as well. I think I found the fish. One of the fish I want to bring back. Okay, you guys might have to agree with me on this one. Oh, it's a lot of fish I want to bring back. But this is crazy. So here we have a lot of like short body, uh, temporary barbs, different fly horns, but there's one. It's a lot. There's one that caught my attention. Look at this guy. Super red, markings all over, this yellow on the body, Fajai. What do you think about this fish? This is nice. This is nice. It's definitely got the color profile that I like. The golden base with the red and the light color. So, 
this might be one of the picks. It just has to come out. It just has to come home with us. Oh, I see a lot of little ones. So look at look at these little blue ones. Yeah. Little ones look really nice too, and they're super active. But the colors, bro, the colors. Look at the color in our fish. Now there's one similar. So they're still grooming this one. I think hopefully the, the black will fade, but no, you're right, the first pick is better. Oh look, yeah. there's a nice little guy right here. Oh, that's nice. All right, so we got, oh, what about this? What do you think about this guy? Yeah, anything that has like the pearls, blue pearls wrapping around the whole head, those are really good stuff. And this is like red and yellow at the same time too. Okay, so what type of flower horns are these, Fajai? These are probably kumpas. Oh, he's trying to find the, there's a little red on the light. <laughs> he's trying to get it. Really pretty. Oh, Fajai, look at this. For the being that size and already having a hump like that? Whoa, this looks like a bull sack. <laughs> All right, we got a couple fish. Dude, we gotta take this guy too. There's a couple fish here. Is like that one? Bro. The one up there, down. These are all good. Yeah, these are all good. But I think we need the ball sack and the yellow one. We gotta take it back. Yeah. Well, bro, bro, look at Bosek for being so short like that and having that hump. I don't know yet, Fajai. Are we making him a store pet or hand selected flowhorn in Thailand? Should be a store pet. Well, we'll see. If somebody offers good money, we can get another one. What do yeah. you guys think in the comments below? Should we keep him as a store pet for you to see it? We literally came all the way to Thailand to hand select him. They're catching our flowhorn right now. Let's see how. Oh, oh, oh. We're quick about it. All right, thank you. Dude, the size of the head, like through the bag, you can see it. It's super red too. Beautiful fish. Getting heavy, bro. I know, I was about to say, we're used to buying fish in boxes, but now he's buying it in bags. That's how they do it in Thailand. Uh, everything for a video, right? Yeah. Just left the market. It's been a long day, a hot day. We lost a lot of weight just sweating. But right now, they already packed a bunch of fish. These, this order right here, coming out of our facility going straight to China. All those boxes there are empty, but check this out. They already packed all this. Thank God we didn't have to do this for you guys. This is great. <laughs> it's good to have workers. It's, it's not like well, in New York that we have to actually pack. Look at this. All right, so this is the, uh, what we call the cold room because Thailand is so hot. So as they pack it out there and bring it in here, they leave it in here to slowly cool down the water of the fish. And they also put ice packs in it and then goes straight out to the airport. So this is the actual packing room. They use uh, aged water here and we put some methylene blue in the water to help prevent infection. Uh, these are the blue machines that you saw in that red fiberglass tank outside before. Right, so all these right now are blue machines. Uh, probably, so. probably, yeah, because all those tubs of blue machines have been packed. Yeah. Okay, and what are they doing here right now? Okay, so over here is um, our high-end betas that were collected from private individuals or breeders, all selected out, so ordered and paid for one at a time. You see the white and blue? Yeah. So, so this is like a consolidated shipping service, kind of. Okay, so they go out it's looking hard. for high-end betas. It's hard to focus. It's too close. Right, that's right. Just get another one. So they even put packages of leaves. Oh. They use yeah, the leaves. Authentic from Thailand. These are like yeah, banana leaves. Banana leaves. They use it for insulation. So this one, the water's yellow, but this is a a, a platinum. It looks like a platinum, all white one. Move this hand. It's tracking that. Hand. Okay. You would see it. Yeah. Now I. Yeah. There we go. Okay. okay. So this is a white one. And then all these boxes are little baiters. Yeah. So right now we have to take them all out to repack them. <laughs> yeah. I came at the wrong time. <laughs> but we're curious to see what these selected betas look like. I think this this one in particular is all the white and blue one. You see? Yeah, I can see it now right there. Really pretty. So you see it's a lot of white and then like blue on the tail. But basically from the breeding they they select out 
What are you doing? This is called Ham Saplo, okay? For you guys who speak Cantonese. I understand. <laughs> All right. Look at um, this one. This is really banana leaf? Yeah. They pack it like this? Yeah. You took the fish for, out already or no? For no. insulation. No way. I didn't take anything here. Maybe we should start doing that. It's a lot cheaper than styrofoam. If we didn't tell you it was fish, you would think it's food inside, right? Or something else. Sticky rice. Oh, this is a red one. It's gonna be hard to see. So I see, like, the whole body's white and just the fin is red. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What's going on here? Well, you want to film them catching all the water fish, right? Yeah. So as as you see yesterday, these were all full with the machines. It's all packed up already. Now, anything else going that you know of? They're those big ones. Catching those big ones over there, probably. Okay, so let's go over there. And I think I remember these are coming to us. Uh, yeah. So these were the same ones you saw at the market. No, no. This is a, this is a. Oh, this is the India or the yeah. Siamese? No, that's the India. That should be the same the India one. Okay. Alright. They're gonna start catching that right now, so let's film the process. This is pretty... That's a lot of fun for us because we actually don't have to do anything. We're just recording. But if it was back home, we'd be the ones catching all these fish. So they already took a bunch of stuff out of here as well. This, this tank was loaded yesterday. Now, it's easier to see it. I want to bring those, uh, the high fin ones back. I don't know what they are. I'm trying to find out. But there's some type of local fish here. It's a Thailand. But the fin is super cool. It's like very tall, nice tail. Very nice fish. Beauty about what's going on here is normally I'm the one doing that. Okay. And uh, now we just get to enjoy and watch. But, and you're the one going in there to catch the fish, right? Yep, yep. So this is a nice change here. Well, so, when we go home, I'm sure we're gonna be catching a lot of fish. Oh yeah. This size is one per bag, right? Um, no, I think they're gonna put a couple more. Two? Look at that. Beautiful fish. You wanna put it in there? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Beautiful, okay, thank you. And that blue is gonna pop out really good too. These stingrays are gonna come with us. This one right here is gonna go back with us. There's a Wallago cat back there. Um, another fish that I'm pretty excited that we never had before. It was the these Indian masseers. These guys get huge. They're very pretty fish too. But yeah, now the clown is up close. Look at how big this fish is. From, from the belly to the back, it's got to be almost 14 inches. I think all these are going to go back to with us. Right now, this guy is in a dark tank to see if his color is going to change. We bought this tigrinus here for the exhibit because of the markings. We got very thick bands. I like how the bands on that split and there's a little white in between the black band. Yeah. Very nice. Guys, we're here in Thailand. I don't even know where we are, but it looks like a, a residential area if you take a look around. 
<laughs> My cameraman is a little bit slow. <laughs> yeah, I was like baking like a chicken in the car. It is so hot here today that the AC was running, but it still felt like super hot in there, right? I was right. like sweating like crazy. So accordingly to, quote accordingly, according, according, <laughs> I'm already trying to speak Thai with English. According, with, according to our partner, Sam, every house here is the same guy breeding flower horns. Yeah, so it's, I guess this one owner owns all these houses or he's renting these houses, but there's flower horns in every single one of these houses. So I'm sure we're gonna spend a long time here, but my question is, do you think we're gonna find flower horns like the one we saw yesterday? I think we're gonna find that plus more. We're gonna find big, small, it should be like everything. All right, so we're waiting for him to unlock right now so we can go inside. And this is gonna be a full dedicated flower horn video for you guys.